up guys, Alex here at Car Guy, I'm making this um, overview of my 1997 Mercedes E320. Um, this is the inline six, it's got the M104 engine. Um, this is my vehicle. Um, I wanted to talk about this video I wanted to make regarding a uh, vehicle I purchased from the auction. It was originally project. Uh, that I purchased and it turned into a very nice daily. I want to go over top things um, that you want to look for if you want to own W210 uh, Mercedes E-Class. Uh, this is from the year between 1996 to 2001. Um, now I did actually own a couple of the CLK models, a coupe and a convertible version, 1999 and 2002 models and uh, they were both very solid. Um, I did had um, the V6 engine in these, uh, which is, you know, different, but still 3.2, uh, six cylinders. So um, this vehicle, guys, I purchased for $600, believe it or not, from the auction. It does have a clean title and uh, only about 125,000 miles when I purchased it. Um, so great vehicle. It was definitely a project vehicle. Um, and I had a lot of stuff done on it and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I did on the vehicle as well as um, some of the stuff you might have to do Generally on the e-class Mercedes um, So the first thing I did is the battery that's located right underneath the rear seat There's two buttons that you press to release that um, so I did the battery um, the car has been sitting for a lot so I had to get the hood painted, the top roof, that quarter panel in the rear, and also the trunk clip. So that cost me about $950 to get done. Also, um, one of the stuff I want to tell you about, which you, of course you have to do on almost any W210 you come across, is the transmission. I did the transmission fluids and the uh, gasket and the pan and the filter and all that. So um, again, I'll recommend that on any Mercedes that you purchase, um, but especially on these because the way they were advertised, I'll make sure that the transmission will run. So that was the biggest thing. I was hoping the transmission, the engine runs smooth and they really do. Um, as you see, there's a very minor oil leak from here, but it's really not bad. Um, I did got the oil and filter changed. I did replace these spark plugs. Um, which are very easy to get done just underneath it here um, very inexpensive um, I also did I, I'm yet to do the belts and the um, tensioner um, there's a small squeak from cold start um, then I also had the front shocks done on that vehicle very easy to replace there's really two bolts one at the top one at the bottom um, that I had done um, and I did also and rear brake pads and rotors on that vehicle um, again all that probably cost me right around for the shocks and the brakes probably around four hundred dollars I believe for all of the parts I got the work done all by myself which was great that obviously saved me some money um, then I also wanted to show you um, I replaced the entire interior on that vehicle I actually got a really great deal um, it had the gray interior as you can see on the dash panels and the seat belts um, but I got a great deal. A gentleman, very nice gentleman, sold me the entire interior, including the seat panels, all the wood trim, uh, the mahogany wood trim steering wheel um, on a great deal. Um, delivered to my house. I was very happy with the price, paid $1,000 for that. Um, everything works, all the clips and everything. It's in, it's in great condition. Um, very nice rare design of brown interior. Um, and also the panels. So um, I did that. I think it turned out really good. Um, I mean, some people don't really like the gray contrast, but I personally like it. I just got the central console replaced, but I'm not gonna deal with the carpet or the dash. I might got the seat belts replaced at one point, but I'm pretty happy with the way this vehicle turned out. I'm probably into it right about 3,500 bucks currently, which is certainly not bad um, for that kind of vehicle. They're great uh, daily drivers 
actually the gas mileage is decent they're actually pretty reliable uh, they don't really break a ton uh, the ton of the issues i come across with on these is probably transmission on one of my clk coupe i had had like 250k and the transmission was slipping at this point uh, but it wasn't serviced properly so uh, keep that in mind you want to make sure transmissions are sought also the suspension brakes are pretty normal on these vehicles and then um don't ever wash those engines that m104 engines hate water uh, keep that in mind um, i did replace the factory headlight unit with the, these aftermarket clear lens depot lights for about a couple hundred bucks on ebay um, so i'm pretty happy with these um as well so the w210 e-class is a great vehicle to own they're really reliable they're great commuters they're a great vehicle for somebody who enjoys that older classic great first car um, you can get one of these for pretty decent not really expensive price um, you know they come with a ton of features electric seats with memory electric steering wheel um, it all works on that vehicle I made sure of it um, so it had the airbag light on which is because of the steering wheel replacement and uh, what else did I had issue with that I also had done I believe the CD changer unit that's really common on these um, outside of that all of the power windows work except for rear lefts uh probably the actuator or the module is out um you do have the stability control program um this one does come with the heated seats um with the climate control which doesn't have any issues um and also the sound system works it does come with the key code as well on that so very very good vehicle um here's the odometer um I really love the power, the sunroof too. The only thing is the headliner is currently dropping. So that is a common issue on these, especially one that was sitting for quite some time. So um, yeah, these are great vehicles. Again, they're very reliable. They're easy to work on. Brakes are easy to get done. Suspension is easy and inexpensive. Um, parts are really not bad. And these vehicles are actually pretty safe and they drive very smooth. So. Um, if you have any questions about only one, um, let me know. I'm gonna make probably a couple more videos with uh, the way this vehicle drives, um, the differences between these models, and uh, hopefully that helps. Thank you, like and subscribe.